podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. This week on the Defy Life Podcast, we celebrate episode 200, as well as our big NFL preview show. We got a lot going on here, a lot to celebrate, a lot to talk about. On to it. Welcome to the Defy Light Podcast, powered by the Defy Light Podcast Network. This episode is sponsored by Bud Bottles, home of the Bud Bottle and the Bud Freshener. Please visit BudBottles.com for your odor eliminating needs. This is episode 200. Y'all come on in, wipe your feet, close the door behind you. I'm your host, J.R. Glenf. Joined as always by my wonderful co-host, Alvin Glenf, Thomas Stevens. What's good with you, Al? Man, I'm doing good, man. I done made it to the show 200 hey y'all come a long way man we done come a long way so uh excited to be here excited to do this show nfl preview show is always a good show because it's you know sign that nfl is right around the corner so doing good how you doing i'm good man i'm good thank you good 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 Pooh, what's good with you sir happy 200 no doubt no doubt 200 we here man I'm just chilling, man. Ready to get up and, and get down. Nine one one is a joke, and yo, I just felt like saying, that. "What's good?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Where's she going with this? Is he, is he right. going where I think he's going?" <laughs> um, and he done. He hey. <laughs> Oh man, good man. We're good. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. You're right. Um, first off, um, congratulations to us, to you guys, to our listeners. To the Defy Life family, man, two hundred episodes, man. Most, uh, you know, most podcasts don't make it this far, so we are uh, excited. It goes to, uh, I think it says a lot that we're not dedicating this entire show to two hundred because we got other stuff to talk about. Um, it's kind of we expected to get here, I think. So, um, but still, it's worth acknowledging. So, with that being said, um, really quickly because we got a lot to uncover in this NFL preview episode. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot some questions at y'all. Just give me one answer, a one word answer, or a very brief answer. Um, just kind of get some uh, some insight on on some highlights of uh, the first 200 episodes. All right, all right. Um, so first, and yeah, there's, there's no right or wrong. You know, there's no, there's, there's no point taking anything. So y'all just shoot out answers if you want to. All right. Um, who was our first guest on the Defy Life? podcast y'all remember nope wow wow first guess i think it was a lady (laughs) a a name doesn't come to mind was it keisha keisha was our first guest yes (laughs) okay okay we're gonna tag team this right right (laughs) right (laughs) No. Like, hey, Keisha's a lady. Um, she yeah, Keisha, <laughs> Keisha was our first guest um, for our first um, wellness episode, wellness um, segment. Yeah. Um, the uh, <laughs> I know y'all can name this, but just uh, just so we can shout these guys out. Um, who were the original five hosts of the show? Oh, man. Well, you know. Us three, then we got uh, was it Hot Rod was on, right? Hot mm-hmm. Rod and Keon, that's five. I mean, Keon, mm-hmm. right? All right, Hot Rod out pushing Teslas now, I think. Um, okay, <laughs> nah, hey. man. Oh, begging for Teslas, that's the last I saw. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> um, we shout out to uh, to you guys and Rod and. And Keon, um, yeah, man. Um, and lastly, this is this is no wrong answer. Both of you, give me give me an answer of your own. Um, 
off the top of your head, I know I'm putting you on the spot. Pooh, what's your most memorable moment, comment, episode? What's your most memorable anything from, from the first 200 episodes? Wow. Most memorable anything. Probably. Probably. When the. Oh, wow. I can't remember what we're talking I can't remember the exact thing, though. When the. What, what, what do we have? Psychiatrist on? Mm-hmm. What, what are we? Yeah, we had the, the, the gentleman on. The number one narcissist. Well, number two oh, narcissist. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> JT. JP. Yeah, JP. Right. JP. And he. I can't remember. He, he stated something that was. I had put it in my database and I can't remember what it was, yo. Maybe I can remember before the show. But definitely it was something out of that out of that show. Yeah, he dropped some jewels. No, he did. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Ooh. Al, what about you? Uh, What's your most memorable anything so far? That was that was a great show. The, the number one narcissist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's where that came from. Mm-hmm. And um uh, he definitely dropped out the jewels in in this in terms of mental health and dealing with narcissists. But I think one that just came to mind was when you mentioned guests was um, and Keon will never live this down. <laughs> but, um, having uh, Mati Ajavon as a guest, uh, WNBA player, and Keon just 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 shit it on women's basketball. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That was horrible, man. <laughs> that was classic. That was classic. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Um <laughs> and, you know you're right, he'll never live it down. I mean, um not often do we uh we get an opportunity to have an actual WNBA player on the show and uh yeah. what does this guy do? Tell the WNBA player that women's basketball ain't a real sport. This guy. Right. <laughs> Captain Caveman. That was hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, those were both uh, highlights uh, for me as well. So um, if I had to answer, that's the first thing popped in my head out was that episode when Keon did that. Um, but another one that sticks out to me um, was when our, our second guest, Toya, for our wellness episode was on and uh she told uh when when uh when Al said he didn't put lotion on you told her you didn't do put lotion on your feet or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And she told you to put some lotion on them ashy ass feet. <laughs> right. right. Uh, yeah. yeah right. that was a good one. Ashy um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just you know, those are just off the top of our heads, man. But Shout out to all of our listeners, man. Um, you know, without you guys, you know, we we do this because we love it. And, you know, we thank y'all for joining in and, and, and cracking up with us, having fun with us, crying with us at times, all kind of stuff, yeah. fighting with us at times, um, debating with us, all kind of stuff, man. So thank y'all for, for rocking with us. Um, to our Defy Life family, thank you guys for showing up for us, uh, having us on your shows, being a guest on our show. Um, you know, everybody, um, we, you know, we, our families, our wives, um, who have now joined the network, uh, but now they get to see, uh, why we, we, uh, we, we deal with these, you know, crazy hours at night and recording times and yelling at each other over the phone, being pissed at each other for an hour and, you know, making up by the, they see <laughs> why we do all this. Uh, so thanks to our wives, our kids, man. Um, it, it, it's a huge um, accomplishment because when we started this, like we always say, it was just five dudes on a, on a conference call and, and, and on Sunday morning sounding like crap. So thank you guys. Yeah. And, uh, and thank hey, you too as well. Hey, I do got something real quick. No doubt. Thank you guys. I, it just, just popped in my head, man. The very first – the very first – uh, trivia, man, and, and it might have been the second or first one. And you said some babble, and you gave him credit for the answer. <laughs> and I lost my mind. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I lost my mind. I was like, Jim, you serious? You giving him that? That ain't what he said. But, 
<laughs> and, 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 and that kid was no honor at all. He took the credit for it. <laughs> that kid, he, he said the answer, man. No, man, no, man, no. Shout out to We had like man. eight, nine people right. went back and listened to us. Like, yo, he, did, he didn't say that, yo. He didn't <laughs> Oh, man. Um, yeah, shout out to yo. Shout out to Money, man. We've had other guests since those original five, too. I mean, other hosts. Uh, shout yeah. out to Money and Yosh and West Coast as well. Um, oh, yeah. West yeah. Coast. So, man, those are crazy times. Yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. They all added some real good, you know. <laughs> right. Good stuff to the show. So, shout out to all of them. No doubt. Well, cool, man. Well, um, before we get too far into this... NFL preview show. Um, like always, man, I want to let y'all know, um, you know, where you can support us. Uh, so if you want to become a patron, um, it should be a, it supports us a lot. Um, if you want to become a patron of Defy Life, go to patreon.com forward slash go Defy Life and uh, find us there. You can support in uh, as, as, as little or as big as you want. And we would be very appreciative. Uh, y'all definitely can find us at defylifepods.com, which is our hub. Uh, also, at any of your favorite podcast platforms, um, hit that like button, share, uh, subscribe. Um, you know, definitely helps us out if you uh, if you be kind enough to do that. Uh, also, you can find our written content at goldefylife.com. We have movie reviews, fashion, sports, fantasy sports, all kind of stuff. So check us out there. And lastly, uh, check out our... Uh, our branded apparel at defylifegear.com. Uh, you can find anything, T-shirts, outerwear, socks, leggings. Um, you all saw my sister Keisha rocking the leggings on social media this, this week, so there's, those are dope. Um, but go ahead and get your hoodies and sweatshirts ready, man, for fall. It's starting to cool down, so y'all check it out at defylifegear.com. Uh, Al, did I cover everything? Yeah, yeah, no doubt on point as usual and shout out to my amazingly beautiful cousin Keisha out there doing it with them leggings on go ahead girlfriend that's what I'm talking about I'm rocking no them leggings absolutely and those were actually um, her benefit um, gear item for her being a patron uh, so uh, you know if you, uh, if you are supporting us at a patron on the highest level of $20 a month every six months you get a free gear item so this was, uh, was up to her um, for her six month gear item, so that's what she chose. So you get free gear when you uh, when you become a patron. So definitely check it out. She uh, she came up with that one. Nice, very nice. All right, well, guys, man, like y'all said, it is football season officially. Um, we are uh, like you said, Alan. This, this NFL preview show is always fun because for one, it you know it's it's a huge reminder, tap on the shoulder that. You know, football is upon us. And two, um, it's good to get perspectives of what we expect from this season from, you know, from, from different people. So I'm, I'm always looking forward to this to hear you guys' perspectives on what to expect from this season. So y'all ready for it? Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's, let's get go. to it. All right. Well, we are um, we're going to start with first with some individual awards. Um, first off. We are going to go Offensive Rookie of the Year. Al, who you got? I'm pretty high on this cat this year. Um, and so I'm going to go with Zach Wilson. Um, I think he's going to get a lot of opportunities to um, throw the ball. And if he can uh, produce and the Jets increase their win total, I think he'll have a really good shot. Oh, he's look good this preseason. Mm-hmm. He really has. He really has. I think he got the weapon. They've done a good job of building the offensive line. Um, I think it's just really about is he going to be the guy that they expect him to be. And so far, he's really shown to be a, a quality quarterback. So, right. um, you know, that's really what you can expect for the rookie and just hopefully it carries over. No doubt. Pooh, offensive rookie of the year. Who you got? Oh man, that goes without saying. Justin mm. Fields, man. Okay. All right, yeah. Another one who has looked good this uh, mm-hmm. this preseason. So, yeah, um, I, I really do think after week 
after week one, man, he's gonna be the guy. He's gonna be the guy. But I mean, of course, that's what that's what I'm rooting for. That's what I think. But I also 100% know it's gonna be absolutely tough to beat out Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> it's, gonna, mm. it's it's gonna, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to beat out Trevor. I, I just I'm, I thought about Trevor, but I, I'm not. I think he has some offensive deficiencies. Oh, so, man. man. Offensive line is not all of that. He lost uh, ETN, um, so that's going to hurt some of the you know slack that they could relieve with the running game. So I, not that his performance is going to be subpar, but I just think the team around him is not going to really. Mm. Uh, I was just – I'm looking at it. They're, they're really not – Really not the poorest though. They, I mean, I'm just looking at the the guys what they did last year. 1100 yards by Robinson. Um, I think he had 1500, you know, from scrimmage yards. Uh, the, you know, the ball wide, the wide receivers, you know, back and they also added Jones and and Chanel. He got another year. And like yeah, he yeah. looks explosive. Um, I, I think you know, I'm not saying they're gonna be a tough out. But I'm saying I, I think they're gonna put up some points. I mean, they they always have to score points, you know. I, I think they're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think you. I mean, I definitely think that the odds are gonna be slanted his way. I mean, I, in the sense of it's gonna be right. hard to beat him out. I definitely think people are uh, right. It's gonna be hard to beat out. Yeah, he's the chosen one. Right. Exactly. He is. Mm-hmm. Well, like we say about everything, we shall see. Um, yeah. You know, That's why. <laughs> They, they, they don't. They, that's why they don't play the games on paper. They, right. They, they play them inside our televisions. Right. So, Hello. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh man. Um. On to the defense. Uh. Pool, you go first. Who you got for defensive rookie of the year? Man, I really hate to do this, man. Really hate to do this. I'm gonna go with the young kid from Dallas, man. Uh, Parsons. Go pool. Go mm. pool. Go pool. Okay. No doubt. Al, no. who you got? So probably the same person. I, I do. I do. That's why I think I, he was the best defensive <laughs> player in the draft. And yeah. That's why I jumped on it quick. Now y'all can explain why. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened to me? Oh, I, I really wanted to go with uh Collins. However, I don't know really a lot about Collins and I didn't see him out there really in preseason. But I know that I mean, I know there's tackles out there for Dallas to be had. You know, they had a lot of missed tackles, a lot of injuries, and I know he he flows from sideline to sideline. Uh, he's an extremely fast guy and instinctive. So, I mean, uh, I'm predicting 100 plus tackles for the kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's weird to me because when we first, you know, right after the draft, especially since the Cowboys didn't renew the fifth year option for Leighton Van Der Esch, People thought mm-hmm. that Parsons was going to be Van Der Esch's replacement. Um, but it looks like so far during the preseason, he's taken more of Smith's sa- uh, ta- uh, snaps. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I can't believe anyone didn't try to deal for Smith because right. they sound wrong. You know, I, I think they're in a heck of a player still. Yeah, absolutely. I think so too. I think what what's going to happen is they're just going to find a different roles for Jalen, whether it's from blitzing, pass rushing. I just think they – saw some holes in his game last year. And so I think uh, if Parsons is going to, you know, be that linebacker that is going to be on the, you know, first, down, second down, maybe even third down. But I really think they, they like Jalen coming after the quarterback. So I think that's where you're going to see him more in, in, um, in his defense. Hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all both jumped on Michael Parsons, which uh, is not a bad bet, man. Uh, Michael showing, you know, in, in the preseason why he was such a high draft pick, why you guys are so high on him, and why it's hard to beat out linebackers for defensive rookie of the year because uh, <laughs> they just get a lot of tackles and make plays, and you know, it's a, it's, it's a, you know, it's a pretty popular pick. Um, who's going to be the most improved player this year, Al? I'm I'm a go with Carson Wentz. Um, I think 
uh, he's going to come back this year, and I really expect a productive season. Not, you know, MVP caliber, but I think good enough that I think people will really trend his way in terms of most improved. I, I, I thought he was like hot garbage last year. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, Pooh, who's, uh, who's the most improved guy? All right, good question. So most improved is not comeback, right? Because I didn't. Um, I guess kind of the same thing. You can you can call it comeback player of the year if you want to. Okay, because I had I had another answer for comeback. Okay, we'll do both. Well, who's your most improved? Okay. And we'll do comeback. Okay. okay, most improved. I'm I'm going to do I'm going to do Miles Gaskins. Okay. Like my you know, um, you know he he did get banged up. He didn't really, they didn't really start really believing in him until late. But I, you know, I think he's gonna go for you know, eleven, twelve hundred yards. Probably have about six hundred receiving yards. Okay, I, I think it's gonna be a monster this year. All right, mm. um, go ahead and jump on it. Who you have for comeback play of the year? Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> All right, and mm. and that's stemming from, I. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Baker Mayfield may have turned the corner as in things are slowing down to him and he's able to get the ball to guys because we know Odell's never been the issue. He, he's all you know always been the, the same caliber player you know, he's always been. Baker just couldn't get him the ball. All right. You know, so I, I think it's going to be Jay. Okay. All right, Al, um, hmm. who you got for comeback player of the year? I throw Dak out there. Um, Another good one. I think coming back from the injury, um, being back in this offense, getting all the spotlight that Dallas would get, I think if he can play the whole season and, you know, throw for 4,000-plus, I, th- I think he'll he'll be comeback. Okay. No, good one. I love a stick one. Mm. Saquon, another one mm-hmm. from Al. No love from Sa- for Saquon. <laughs> right. I, I, I ain't got no love for Saquon. Not at this, <laughs> not at this time of the year. <laughs> Off season, definitely. This time of the year, I got my game face on. Right. Okay. <laughs> Damn Saquon. That's what I Damn Saquon. Oh, <laughs> uh, Al, who you got for coach of the year? So I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Kyle Shanahan, mm. and I, I think that uh, Trey Lance is gonna play. Um, I think they're gonna go like two quarterbacks type stuff. Um, but I, I just think Kyle's gonna. I mean, I'm just hoping. Maybe I'm just hoping they're gonna go. I ain't got no insight on that. I'm just maybe I'm hoping they're gonna go two quarterbacks. So. Trey Lance gets on the field, but I, I do think I'm high on San Fran this year, and I think whichever quarterback is going to play, um, I think San Fran's going to have a good year. Okay. All right, Pooh, what's up you? Coach, I'm going to go with Vic Vangio. Mm, okay. uh, I think the best thing they could have done was bring in Teddy and, and, and let, let Teddy steer the ship. I think, I think they're going to Contend with 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 Kansas City. I think they're gonna split them, and I think they're gonna be right there, you know, for for a big huge playoff run. Okay. All right. Oh, um, offensive player of the year. Uh, who you got, Pooh? Offensive player of the year. Let me go to my man. Uh, that guy, man. Uh, I'm go with Alvin Kamara. Okay. Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with Kamara. Almost what was Sean Payton for Coach of the Year, but uh, Alvin Kamara, man, it's gonna have a huge year. All right, yeah, it's not a bad one. Um, and if both of those pan out, if if Payton pans out for uh, Coach of the Year and and Kamara's Offensive Player of the Year, it's a good bet that Jameis might be Comeback Player of the Year. Yeah, you're yeah. right. No, you're right. Uh, um, Al, who you got Offensive Player of the Year? I got. I think Buffalo is going to have a really good season. Um, so I'm going with Allen. Um, mm. I think that I think that quarterback 
um, has been progressing. Um, I think, you know, we talk about, you know, things slowing down. I definitely think that's what we're going to see this year out of him, even things slow down a little bit more for him. Um, they added uh, wide receiver, I think, Sanders to mm-hmm. – um, to their roster, so I think you know that just adds another weapon. I've always liked his game. I think he'll mesh in well with Diggs. Oh, Beasley's still there. Um, so yeah, I like him to have a really good season. Okay. All right. Um, Al, back at you. Who's uh, who's the defense player of the year? One of my favorite players in the league, even though he's not a cowboy. I'm going with Devin White. Mm, okay. Um. I just think that he's been trending up. I think coming out of the Super Bowl, um, I just think he's even going to really beast and eat. And so I, I like Devin nice. making plays like, you know, all over the field. All over the field type mm-hmm. there cool. this year. Okay. All right, Pooh, who you got? Defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. What a hey, I'm sorry I disrespect Duran James for comeback player of the year too. Oh. But uh mm-hmm. if he's on the field he'll be a monster. But I'm gonna go mm-hmm. with I'm gonna go with the young boy, man. I'm gonna go with Chase Young. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go with Chase Young. I think he's gonna have a stupid they they got they have first rounds all up and down that line. Um, you know, they brought in a back or two, guys coming in back healthy. They're gonna be extremely, extremely stout and he's just gonna be an absolute terror. I think he ended up being, you know, banged up like four or five games last year and mm-hmm. had to sit a game or two out. But he, he's going to really have it, man. Nice. Yeah, Chase Young is uh, one he's of the, a monster. He's a monster. He's one of the the better young building blocks we have in this in this league. So, no, fun no to doubt. watch. Um, all right. And for the, uh, for the big one, man, Pooh, who's your MVP for this year? I'm gonna go Kyler Murray, man. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kyler Murray. Nuke, of course. You know he still got Nuke out there doing his thing. But all I keep reading about, and I disrespect this guy, is AJ Green. Mm-hmm. I keep I keep reading about. You know they're they're saying that man he look like AJ AJ Green of 2015. Uh, you so know what's his name? Uh, Andre Riddick. Andre Riddick. What's his name? Uh, mm-hmm. Hassan Riddick. No, uh, he used to be a GM and a scout, and now he's on ESPN. Riddick, Roddick, you know what I'm talking about? Oh Jay? yeah, Reddick. Um, Reddick. He, man. Lewis Reddick. Lewis, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, he, yeah. he's written Riddick. various articles. Riddick, yeah, yeah. Riddick. He's written various articles about you know how AJ look and he's this and he's fast and <laughs> they wouldn't even come out on preseason. They don't want anyone to see. So you know and they got Kirk. And slide and they got this new fresh rookie kid and he's another slide. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for Kyler to just really, really just be absolutely ridiculous. We'll see. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we got this kid on our team look just like Kyler. Who? And when I say just on, on, on my team, on my, on my little league team. Look oh, just oh, like Kyler. Look like, okay. Yeah, I mean, look like him. And, the, and you know, Kyler looked like a kid. Right, he does. he does. And this kid looked like a grown man. So he kind of looked like Kyler. But yeah, he's funny. short. He's short. He probably, he looked like he, he's six or seven. Like everybody has seen him, like ain't no way that kid 12. And right. Toughest kid on the team, but he looked just like Kyler. But um, mm-hmm. it's funny, though. Um, yeah, funny. Al, who, who you got for MVP? Um, I am going with, I'm going with Patrick Mahomes. Wow, not that. Go ahead, so. Yeah. You're going um, out on a limb, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> and, like, I, and I thought about being risky. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's why I was like, you know what? Stop playing. Hey, sometimes life's about the short thing. <laughs> hey, I was, really, I was coming up with guys. How about him? How about him? <laughs> about him? Mm-hmm. And maybe I, it might be, you know what? Stop playing. It's right. special. Well. Just make it easy. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, I mean, not much you can say. If it's Patrick Mahomes, your choice. I can't argue with you. So, nah. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, that's a good pick. I think with with the Chiefs, the only thing that I mean, I think injuries has been their problem. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, 
I would have expected a much better turnout uh, performance in a Super Bowl if their line was healthy. I just think you know it is what it, it is. What it is. It's a bad right. matchup. Um, this year, you know, I would expect them to just be the Chiefs. And so, if that's the case, then he don't go off. And he's still mm. young, so why? You know what I mean? Like it's also very likely that he might be getting better too. Right. And so, yeah, I'm going with Patrick. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Well, good picks, guys. I, you know, as far as a, you know, a limited, unlimited number of ways we can go with any of these. So. I'm interested to see how how these pan out. And, you know, I always go back and listen to the show at the end of the year. So, um, very, very good picks. On to our uh, season preview um, with our team and and team records and division winners. So, starting the AFC East. Um, Al, who you got in the AFC East? I'm going with Bolo to win. Okay. Um, I... I think they are heads and I just think they're above everybody in that division. And yeah. not to say that they're not beatable and people won't give them a game. But I just think, you know, throughout the roster, they have better roster and they have the better quarterback. All right. Okay. All right, Pooh, AFC East, who you got? I agree. Buffalo as well. No no knock on two of the Shuns there, I will pick Miami, but uh Mm-hmm. I'll go with the Bills. Okay. All right. AFC North. Who you got, Paul? AFC North, man. Don't be mad at me, man. I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with the Browns, man. All right. Mm. I ain't mad Browns. at you. I've seen that I've seen that absurd answer all preseason. Um <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Al, who you got? <laughs> um so to be different, because I, I I was leaning clean, but to be different. I'm going to go with Baltimore mm-hmm. and um, say that uh, uh, the defense steps up. L- Lamar continues to improve. And um, I, I, I like I like what I see in Lamar so far as a quarterback. So I'm going with him. All right. Um, and, you know, as every preseason goes, man, we have unfortunate injuries. So I want to send a shout out and get better you know as quick as is possible to uh to JK Dobbins and to Justice Hill uh to two of the the top running backs in Baltimore and uh shout out to Le'Veon Bell for signing on with Baltimore today um signing on uh, to Baltimore's practice squad and as soon as he's in shape from football shape and ready to go I'm sure they'll promote him up to the 53 so um you know is is uh and as much as I see, hate to see Le'Veon with a rival, it's good to see him back in the league. So, shout out to Le'Veon for getting another shot. Um, AFC South. Uh, Al, who you got? So, in the AFC South, Tennessee. Uh, Julio Jones has joined the team. Um, we still have Derrick Henry. Defense should be better. Um, yeah, I, um, I think Tennessee is a, another example where they're clearly above everybody else in the division. That's what I was going to say. It's Tennessee and who else? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, who, who, who you got in the AFC South? Tennessee, too strong. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, AFC West, who you got, Pooh? Man, I'm going to go, boy. I'm gonna go with Kansas City, but not by much. Uh, I'm gonna go with Kansas City, not by much, though. You know what? Not by like edging out who? Going with Denver. Oh, with Denver. okay. Wow. All right. All right, Al, who you got? Going with Kansas City, and I can definitely relate to Pooh's sentiment that it's going to be a little closer this time in that division. And I really think across the board, I, I think all those teams have closed the gap somewhat. Um, and not, I think Denver, to his point, I think they're the second best team. Um, but I think 
San Diego is better, and I think the Raiders are better. So oh, I'm yeah. looking for a better play in that division, but I'm going with the Chiefs. No doubt. Okay. All right. Um, on to the NFC. Uh, NFC East. Who you got? <laughs> Who you got? Um, man, you already know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Al. You uh, already know, man. Yeah. Pooh, I mean, one, one team got Fitzpatrick as a quarterback. Another team got a questionable quarterback and a, a running back who's coming back off of an ACL injury and a mm. terrible offensive line. All right. And then the E, the Philly, like, I, I got to see it from Jalen. I'm a mm. Jalen fan. I am. I do like him as a quarterback, like, as a person. But he got to prove it to show that he's that quarterback. So I ain't, I ain't trusting him either. So come on, man. Oh, it's okay. All right, Pooh, who you got? The football team. Okay. Oh, see, that's what I'm All talking right. about. Hey. If, uh, <laughs> if, if so, it'll be the first time that we see Ryan Fitzpatrick in the playoffs in his career. Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. Um, and NFC, um, NFC North. <laughs> Al, who you got? I already know. <laughs> I got. Uh, a A Ron and the Packers. Um, I, I think he has a really good year and wins the division again. Okay. All right, Pooh, how many games you got the Bears winning by? <laughs> I, think, I think we're going to split with him, and that's what we need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give us the edge, man. I'm going to go ahead and get the Bears the edge. Now, that's a stats with. Justin quarterbacking? Of course. Of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, NFC South. Pooh, who you got? Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Temple Bay, but it's going to be close. Mm. It's going to be close. I'm going with Temple Bay, though. All right. Al, who you got in NFC South? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the Bucks as well. Um, I, I do think Saints are going to be worth watching because it's just as good of a team. Just now they got Winston as a quarterback, not Drew Brees. So still talented squad. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, Pooh's right and the Saints are right there. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, Al, NFC West, who you got? Uh, I'm going with the 49ers. Um, I, I, despite a quality division. I really think that might this might be one of the best in the league, top to bottom. Um, right. But yeah, I, I I like San Fran. Okay, uh, Pooh, who you got in NFC, NFC West? I'm gonna jump out there on the limb, man. I'm gonna go Arizona. Okay. Mm. All right. Arizona. Yeah, tough division, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so. It's a few things we got to get used to from the NFL this year. A 17 game schedule, and now seven teams from each conference in the playoffs. So, Al, who are your three wild card teams from the AFC? So, out of the AFC, then I'm going to go with Cleveland, the Broncos, and the Colts. Okay. All right, Pooh, who are your three wild card teams from the AFC? Chiefs. Chiefs, Steelers, Ravens. Okay. All right. Um, who you got going to the Super Bowl, Pooh? Which two teams? Boy, 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 boy. Which team? Which AFC team I got going? Uh, AFC and NFC. Which two teams you got going to the Super Bowl? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get your NFC wild cards. I'm sorry. No, you um, didn't. Yeah, um, well, give me your NFC wild cards first. I'm sorry. NFC wild card. Pack. Rams. Ooh. And Saints. Okay. All right. Uh, Al, NFC wild cards. Um, very similar list. Um, I got the Rams cards and the Saints. Okay. All right. 
Now, Al, who you got going to the Super Bowl? So, every year throughout these 200 shows at this point, I throw the Cowboys on the list. Figuring one year I'm going to be right. <laughs> and I'll do it again. So, we got the Cowboys going up against the Bills and a rematch and um, of the nineties, so mm-hmm. I'm going with the I'm going with Cowboys Bills. Okay, Pooh, which two teams you got matching up in the Super Bowl? Man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bills. I'm gonna go Bills on in, in the AFC. And uh, just I, I think Green Bay gonna get through the get, get through the gun in the NFC. Okay. Mm. All right. Um. So Al, you got Cowboys and Bills. <laughs> Who wins that game? Well, as fate would have it, and the Cowboys have already beat the Bills twice in Super Bowl history. Mm. As fate would have it, three times is a charm. Mm. And I have the Cowboys beating the Bills in the Super Bowl. Wow. What a surprise. Surprise, surprise. All right. Cowboys over Bills for Al. All right. Pooh, uh, who you got taking it between Green Bay and Buffalo? Man, I don't. I just don't think you're going to be able to stop the Bills' offense. And their, and their D is just, they're just going to be able to get some stops. To, to be able to outscore you. So I'm going to be able to. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think um, Western New York might explode if Buffalo finally wins the Super Bowl. So we'll see. All right. So, um, <laughs> Pooh got the Bills over the Packers. Okay. Um, and really quick question before, we're not going to do a listener question this week. Because, like I said, we had a lot to talk about. Uh, so we're going to straighten the trivia. But um, one question for each of you. Al, if you can give me one player or one player this year who's going to be a huge disappointment, who's it going to be? Mm-hmm. They, don't it, they don't get out an award for that guy. So I just, I just want to get who you think is going to be a huge disappointment. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Matt Ryan. Mm. Okay. And, yeah, I think he has enough weapons for people to have high expectations. And I don't think he's going to meet them. So that's where I'm going. Okay. Uh, Pooh, same question. I'm going to say... Oh man. Hit the dude to this guy again, man. Um, the first name jumped in my mind, man, was Kirk Cousins, man. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Joe Mixon, man. Um Oh wow. Every year high expectations and he's gonna be a top ten back and and it's, it's just not you know, it, it's not, you know, conducive to him, it's old lines, but they're not looking at the old line. They look at the player, you know? Mm. So I'm going to go Joe Mix again, man. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Um, there's always big expectations for Joe. Uh, for the name I had to throw out there for a disappointing guy, this is um, it's DJ Sharp. Oh. Mm. We're expecting a lot of big things from him um, because Trevor's there and – he got his new offense, but he's kind of regressed since he had that big year two years ago. And right. a lot of his numbers come from volume, and he's not going to get the same volume he had two years ago. So um, DJ Chargers, I think, is a name that a lot of people are talking about that I think is going to disappoint some folks. Right. Mm. All right. Um, Al, you, you ready for trivia? And you know this. All right. Let's get it. 
let's go. Uh, another thing of coming back for a new season and doing trivia. Like, I kind of forgot what that was like. Kinda, <laughs> right. Oh, it's Tuesday. It's my week for trivia. Let me All get right. right. Let me get right. Welcome back to Nice. So, okay, this week's trivia, fellas, is I got a list. So this list contains 14 correct answers, right? Um, since it's two of y'all, I'm going to give each one of y'all seven guesses to guess somebody who's on this list. Mm. If you get if you're wrong three times, the other person automatically wins. Mm. Okay. Right? That's so different. It, Right. Hey, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it funky. So you get, uh, you get out of seven guesses, you only get three chances to be wrong. Once, if we get through and y'all get to everybody has guessed seven times, then I'll add up the correct answer. So whoever gets the most right ultimately will be the winner. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, we got. I'll let Pooh go first. Jr. You can be second. Mm-hmm. And so the list is. The list is I'm looking at the top seventeen uh, What's that noise? Y'all hear that? Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. What's all here? Somebody got background noise or something. Yeah. Okay. Like it was in a wind wind yeah. time. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was getting distracted. I had uh, shift. Ice I skating, really skiing, or something. Where we go? I, I, can't, I can't focus. I can't focus. Hey, I could not have been like a NASA astronaut. Right. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, damn, drive the rocket, sir. Okay. Um, okay. So I got a list of career interception leaders. Right. Mm, okay. In, uh, NFL career interception leaders. Seventeen of these guys have more had fifty seven picks or more, but only fourteen of the seventeen played during my lifetime from nineteen seventy on. Mm-hmm. So three of them played before I was even born. They ain't, we ain't counting them. If you get them, they ain't, they ain't, we not giving you that. Okay. You don't get credit. Only the fourteen was alive during my lifetime. All right. All right. Cool. First on my list. Let me go. Isn't uh, interceptions Rod Woodson? Rod Woodson is on the list. All right. Oh, so funny. <laughs> I was I was educating Lincoln on who Dick LeBeau was uh, this past week, and uh, uh-huh. so this list is kind of fresh in my head. Look at this crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> drats. Uh, Dick LeBeau just happened to make it. Uh, he actually stopped playing 1972, so he almost didn't make the cut, but he has 62 picks. Uh, what you got, Pooh? Oh, man. I think my guy is my guy on there. Uh, I'm going to throw, let me throw Prime out there, man. Deion Sanders. Mm. Is not on the list. I didn't think he was. I thought I said surprisingly not on the list. Man. Shut people down, but they get a lot of picks. Yeah, he didn't really get a lot of action. Yeah. Uh, Jay, what you got? Um, going with Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson is on the list with sixty-five picks. Let's see. I was gonna say Charles. Me. Um. Do 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 do. Now let me go. Um. Let me try. Uh, let me do Daryl Green. Daryl Green, one of my favorite quarterbacks ever, is not on the list. Oh, I'm about to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotcha. I'm going Ed Reed. Ed Reed is on the list, number seven with sixty-four picks. All right, what you got, Pooh? Oh, man, I'm dangling. I'm dangling right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, I, I'm going to throw this out there, man. Let me get Troy Polamalu, man. Troy <laughs> Polamalu is not on the list. Oh, man. <laughs> that would be the game. <laughs> <laughs> and just for kicks and giggles, let me throw my favorite, yes. one of my favorite uh, 
Steelers out there. Mel Blunt to wrap Mel this up. Blunt is on the list. Uh, oh, he's number 13 with 57. All right. Um, so, yes, congratulations, Jay. But so we can shout out some of these cats who was the list that you didn't call. Uh, Paul Krause, mm. uh, safety for the Minnesota Vikings, actually leads career interceptions with 81. Um, yeah. Then Rod Woodson, um, Ken Riley, yeah, I mentioned Charles, Ed Reed, Ronnie Lott, mm. Darren Sharper is on this list. Um, Dick LeBeau, um, Dave Brown, I think mm. he was a cornerback. If mm-hmm. I remember correctly, uh, Emmett Thomas, he's the coach oh, now. Mel Blunt, um, Eugene Robinson, safety, uh, Colgate University product, uh, Johnny Robinson, and then Everson Walls, undrafted free agent. Mm. Uh, Who's that with the Colgate? Eugene Robinson. Oh, I did not know that. Genie Rob. Uh, he actually graduated the. Before I get on camp, like so, he, he would definitely he would come up, and he was well talked about. He was a legend when I'm a freshman. Like, you know, it was this player, Gene Robinson, in the league right now. Yeah. He's the man. So, yeah. Um, I hope I'm wrong. Um, but is he the same safety for the Falcons who got caught with a prostitute before the Super Bowl? That's him. That's him. Oh. That's him. Yeah, he is That's a legend. Him. He is a legend down here as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, you know. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to pay for it, man. You ain't mad at you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> we all pay for it in some form or another. In some form or fashion. <laughs> oh, well. He definitely paid for it. Bitch. Oh, man. That was a good one, huh? Yeah, it was. Definitely yes. was. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, well. Um, again, y'all, this is uh, episode 200. Y'all got any parting shots before we get out of here? Man, my only parting shot is I just want to thank y'all, you two, for what y'all done in creating the fire light and just uh, the, the amazing wisdom to invite me to join y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm the number one narcissist. <laughs> um, but no, I, I really just, you know, I appreciate the opportunity, appreciate this run, and just look forward to doing many more with y'all. And so thank y'all for all the listeners. That's all I got. No doubt. Oh, shout out to all anybody listening up in the. I got to I, I mention my folk north, man. I got family who got flooded mm. out through Iowa. Um, I got you know, pictures of my neighborhood flooded, so you know, this is definitely a thing where I'm sending positive energy, prayers, thoughts, and just, you know, definitely those, that's my old stomping ground, so much love to all those going through it right now. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, Pooh, anything for me? Hey, same here, bro. Um, definitely want to show them love and, 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 and you know, wish them I guess safety, safety as it you know as it comes. Definitely, that's that's, that's mm-hmm. tough. That's tough, you know. Man, you know any of them. Um, definitely, man. You guys, they love you guys. I've been enjoying this for a while. This is one heck of a ride, you know. And I'm mean, definitely have to stay on it, you know. So, oh and bro, in two more games. I mean, two more days. The games are for real. Man, who you telling? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only down part I have this year is, bro, they don't have the double hit on Monday night. I can't believe they didn't do that. Yeah, I think it's they got uh, fans in the stadium. Yeah, wow. I know. What's good with the double hit on Monday night? Like oh, no. we, we've been <laughs> that for like the last four years. Now. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it may have been you know logistics, and then having the week off before the season starts this year. And like you said, you know, with fans back in the stadium, maybe they didn't want to you know, have too much going. I don't know. But I feel yeah. you, man. It's always mm-hmm. exciting. But, oh. um, mm-hmm. yeah. But I'm right there in line of step with you guys, man. Um, you know, thank you all. Um, we talked about Pat, previous hosts and guests and listeners, everybody else. But really, man, when I when it boils down to it, 
Um, y'all are the two that make, you know, that make, that make this, that, that, that's, that stir the drink, man, with me. So, um, you know, for week in and week out, and like this is the reason why we did take a, a season break finally um, is because we were 197 episodes in without having more than a week break. So um, mm-hmm. thank you all, man, for rocking with me and uh, and for making this a brotherhood. Um, and again, this is the highlight of my week. It don't matter what else we do, what else, what other shows we have, what other things we venture out to on the network. This remains the highlight of my week because I get to chop it up with my brothers, man. So thank mm-hmm. you all. So, um, and then again, um, you know, prayers and, and all the best to all the families, to my family and to every other family out there who's, uh, you know, who got beat up by this hurricane, man, and is still dealing mm-hmm. with the aftermath. Um, you know, and they, people that have lost a lot of stuff and some lost everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, just know that if there's anything that, that Defy Life can do, um, you know, reach out to us and we'll, we'll see what we can, what we can manage. So, um, everybody, you know, Godspeed. Godspeed. No doubt. And one last thing though, forgot, man. Uh, shout out man, to, to, to the brother, to the King, man. Michael Carter Williams. Man. Man. Oh yes. Hey, yes. Yo, hey, hey. Omar coming. Omar man. coming. <laughs> Good call. <boo. laughs> I can't even do that. I can't even whistle like that. So, um, yeah, that whistle used to kill me. Yo, right, right, it's, and it's crazy because you know, like you go on like Hulu or something, and it'll, like a show will just randomly pop up for a recommendation. Mm-hmm. Over the weekend, The Wire popped up as a recommendation for me, and I was like, "Man, I done watched the series like three times. I might watch it again." So I know I'm going to watch it again now. So, mm-hmm. uh, right. shout out to Michael right. Carter Williams, man, and, and not just The Wire, but countless other you know characters that he's played, man. Um, his character in The Road, one of the most underrated movies. I think I love it because I read the book, but um, his character in The Road was great. Um, but definitely, Omar, he'll be Omar forever to us, man. Forever. Ever. So, all right, y'all. Well, man, it's been real. It's been a great one. Um, and all the best this season. Best of luck to your Cowboys, your Jets, Al, the pool, to your Bears. And, no uh, you know, shout out to my Steelers, man. Let's rock this. Let's have fun this season. It's been episode 200 of the Defy Life podcast. We'll talk to y'all next week. Until then, Defy Life. Defy Life. Defy Life. Peace.